Hi guys, it's Aman UK here. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, this is my ant keeping tips on how to raise an ant colony. Some of this footage you might have seen before, but I've put a massive video together showing you how you could raise a successful ant colony. First of all, you want to set yourself up a test tube setup. This is used for your queen ants. First things first, you get yourself a bottle of water. You can use tap water, but bottle of water is less contaminated, it's more filtered. We fill it up at least halfway in the test tube. Then we get ourselves some cotton wool. Um, I would recommend using plastic test tubes. You don't want to use glass. If you're breaking glass, you know, you, it's sharp, you're going to cut yourself. I always use plastic test tubes for safety reasons. We get the cotton wool, we put it in, we get a Q-tip or a cotton bud, and we push the cotton wool down and the water absorbs into the cotton wool and we make sure that the cotton wool is damp. Not soaking wet, just damp. This will allow the queen to drink water and so she can raise a successful ant colony. And when our workers emerge, they can also drink water too. Then you're going to take another piece of cotton wool and you're going to seal the test tube up so it stops the ants from escaping, but it allows them to get air and breathe. In the next clip, I'm going to show you how you capture a queen ant. Okay, so now you've got your test tube set up and you're ready to capture a queen ant. Now, to capture a queen ant, you want to look at when they do nectar flights. Nectar flights is when they mate. And this is normally between, for this species, the Laceous Niger, it's normally between June to September, okay? So, during these months, you might have seen it yourself in the summertime. You've got these big flying ants, you've got these big ants running across the floor and you're thinking, oh, what's that? Uh, you know, are these some big soldier ants? What are they? These are young princess queens. They've just been mated and they're ready to start a new colony. They're looking for somewhere to dig and hide. So, what you want to do is get your test tube set up. You can make as many test tubes as you want and capture one of these queens. Once you've caught your queen, you've got the first part of what you need, the main ingredient for starting your ant colony. Now in the next clip, I'll show you a clip of the queen when she's just laid her first batch of eggs. Okay, in this video guys, that is the same Laceous Niger queen that I caught during the summer months. This was about a week or two later. I, put, I stored her in a drawer. In a dark place. When you capture a new queen, she wants to feel secure and safe. The best place to put her, I recommend, is in the dark, in a cupboard, in a drawer, anywhere you can place her in the dark. After a week or two, she's laid eggs. Now, for everyone that has always asked me, Ant Man UK, why is my queen not laying eggs? Don't worry, because it happens. I've had queens that have gone without laying eggs for four months. And I was thinking to myself, this is not going to happen. This queen's infertile. Then all of a sudden, boom, wake up one morning, check and there's eggs. So it's one of them things. Sometimes, especially when you've caught them late summer, they want to hibernate. They're storing all the fat and energy for hibernation. And sometimes they don't tend to lay eggs until after um, hibernation, which is around uh, late February, early March. And then they'll lay a batch of eggs. In the next clip, this is the eggs anyway. She's laid a few eggs there, you can see in the image, in the video. Uh, in the next clip, I'm going to show you what happens after these eggs have turned into larvae, pupae, and then into work rats. Okay guys, so this is a different species that I'm keeping, but it's still a Laceous species. This is Laceous flavus. Now, after a few weeks of um, the queen having the eggs, they'll eventually turn into larvae. They'll start moving around, looking like squiggly things. After they turn into larvae, they'll turn into pupae. So they'll turn into like a cocoon sort of thing. And then once they've uh, hatched from the cocoon, you'll have yourself your first batch of worker ants. Now you can see in this video, I've got plenty of orange worker ants from the Laceous Flavors. And she's also laid her next batch of eggs. Now when it gets to this point in the sort of colony growth, you want to start introducing food into your ant colony because they're going to need to eat. She's got workers now, they need to feed and they will feed the queen and they will also feed the larvae. So you want to be introducing proteins such as crickets, mealworms, bits of food, chicken. I've used chicken. I've used tuna. I've used, uh, what else have I used? I've used a few funny things. I've used bits of uh, minced beef and stuff like that. I've even used a lot of human food. They seem to love it. Um, you want to start uh, giving them sugar water, which is just a mix of some sugar and water and make it into like a syrup and just put a drop in there. But what I do recommend, if you're going to put it into the test tube, put it on a small piece of tin foil, okay? And then place it into the test tube, shut it back up 
and what this will do is it will allow you to clean out that test tube a lot more easier instead of it all getting sticky and messy on the inside of the test tube okay so by providing this food sauce and sugar and honey you will be able to the, the ants will be able to flourish they'll have plenty of energy they'll have plenty of protein which will help the queen make new eggs and within a few months time you end up with about 20 to 30 workers and you're like wow I've had this colony now for for I think about eight months and I think in there is about 20 workers and if, uh, our eggs are just turning into uh, larvae at this point so it won't be long before she has at least I don't know there's a good load of eggs in this um, setup but it won't be very long before she has more workers and what you want to do um, you can keep them in a test tube for quite a long time, you can keep them in test tube setups for 60 worker ants. But once you're reaching to a certain number, you're going to want to move them into a setup. And in the next little clip, I'll show you what sort of little setup I keep them in. It's a temporary setup before I move them into a proper built form aquarium. Um, that is another video that I will cover in the future. But I will show you the little setup that I made which only cost me a pound because I already had plastic test tubes I only had to buy some tubs they cost me a pound from a supermarket I'll show you how it's done right so you made it to this part of the video this is a cheap setup that I made for just one pound I used three of my test tube setups I bought these plastic tubs from the supermarket Asda um, in the USA it might be known as Walmart and they were just a pound so I got three of these plastic tubs I used a pair of scissors to screw to like prise into the plastic it's quite easy but uh, a bit of a daunting task you gotta be careful because scissors are sharp and you don't want to cut yourself and stuff so be very careful when doing this I punctured four holes into it so when I squeezed the test tubes into the holes it was nice and tight the ants could not escape and then I put at the end I put one of the plug plastic stops that I got with the test tubes that I don't use for ants. I wouldn't recommend using them at all because I've, I've, I've put a queen in them in the past when I caught one in the summer and she died because they suffocate. They're airtight. Um, they're used for science based stuff. Um, so what I use those plugs for is I puncture a hole into the plug and then I put it into the side of this cheap setup that I made, right? And then I put a bit of cotton wool in that hole so they can breathe from it. and. If I want to extend the nest at any point, I can get some of that plastic tube in, clear plastic tube in, plug it up, plug it up to my new form, form aquarium setup, cover the form aquarium so it's nice and dark, shine a light on that setup, and it will encourage these to move into the new form aquarium because it's dark and they love the dark. Um, also, in this little setup, you've got I put bottle caps inside the uh, setup. You can put two in there, one for water, one for, for honey water, or you could just use it for providing food. Just use a bit of clay to stick it down. Now I hope this um, video has given you some insight into ant keeping and how to raise an ant colony. Uh, this is where I'm up to at the moment, but soon I'll be moving them into a, a form of curium. I hope you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.